So I'd like you to consider this. Traditionally, when we have focused on communication, we've almost exclusively focused on what? Delivery or content. When you're, in, when you're going into a pursuit or you're going in to meet with your team, which do we tend to focus on? Content. And most people will admit that it's 99% content. This doesn't even get any thought because we fall into old habits. So we tend to focus almost exclusively on having great content, great slides, maybe a good story, some good numbers, some reports, some graphs. But we know that's not enough. You got to have delivery. The delivery counts because the delivery is sending information. What drives both of these? The thing that speaks louder than your words, the thing that ultimately determines the experience of the listener is your state. The psychological and emotional state that you're in when you're speaking is what ultimately determines what gets communicated. Not only to them, but to your own brain. And this is absolutely key. Every single athlete, every single performer, anybody that's got to be at their very best understands this. No tennis player would step onto that tennis court without optimizing this state first. You think about it, how many of you have been in a situation where you got up before your team or with, even with one individual and you, the stakes were really high, emotions were hot, and you got in there and you were brilliant. The right answer came. You were connected. You were responding. You were agile. You were funny. You were charming. You were connecting. You were smart. How many of you had that happen? One, two. <laughs> How many of you had the opposite happen? Were you prepared? You knew your stuff. You walked into the room and you went to deliver it and you couldn't even remember your middle name. You stammered, you stuttered, a little piece of drool started gathering on the side of your mouth you, uh, and you felt like you had a frontal lobotomy. What's the difference between those moments when we're brilliant and those moments when we're brutal? It's not your ability, it's your state. And the failure to prepare yourself in the right state before you go into a high-stakes situation is what causes so many smart, well-intentioned people to go in there and fall apart and to be lackluster. State is highly contagious. Consider this. You got a high-stakes engagement in front of you, whether it's internal or external. And on a scale of zero to 10, you show up and you're at a three because you're bored, because you're angry, because you're nervous, or you're tense, or you're preoccupied, but your state is not optimized. You're at a two, you're at a three. You gotta reach for the content, and you can't even find it. Your brain is on dial-up. You can't download the information, you can't think straight. You end up saying things that you don't really mean. How many of you have been in an argument with somebody and said something that was really stupid? Yeah, our IQ drops down. It's as if IQ is directly correlated to EQ. Your emotional state de de determines how well you're thinking. So you go to reach for the content, you can't even find it. Then you go to deliver it, and your voice is flat. Your hands are in the wrong place. Your eyes are on the floor looking for cockroaches. Your body language is all tied up in a pretzel. And then you look out at the person you're speaking to, and they're disengaged. The audience isn't listening, or they're looking back at you as if you're pathetic. And then if you were in a lousy state, it just got worse. And it gets worse and worse and worse, and it goes into a vicious cycle. How many of you have been there? I know I have. Yeah? We've all had our moments. But consider the opposite. If you can prepare like an athlete and bring yourself to an optimum state in an authentic way. So instead of being at a three, you're at an eight. You have a spirit of confidence, of intellectual generosity, a state of care, a state of passion. You're in a state of excitement about what you're talking about. Your heart is open a little bit. As you go to reach for the content, it's right where you put it. It's not only right where you put it, you start coming up with ideas on the spot. And then you go to deliver it, and your hands take care of themselves. Your voice is full of color. Your eyes are connecting with people. The room becomes alive. And you look back, and they're with you. They're engaged. They're nodding. They're laughing in the right places, yeah? And your state gets reinforced. You were at an 8, now you're at an 11. 
and you go into a virtuous cycle. You're in a high performance pattern. And that's what we're after. This is the work that I do with, with teams, is we focus on content delivery and state. 